Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you very much for listening to this YouTube channel. January 25, Thursday, market uh, closed lower today, down 6.46 points or down uh, 0.10% to close at 6,673.5. So profit taking push our market lower after 3 day rally. Uh, so we're now entering the resistance level of 6,700. It's a good uh, rally the past few weeks. Uh, so remember, few weeks before we're trading below six thousand. That's around five eight five nine. No, uh, so we're now entering six thousand seven hundred. On the bigger picture, we're trading sideways. No, uh, so investors are not prepared to get past that level. Strong resistance, talaga untog. Uh, so market uh, value turnover is just around 3.79 billion which is lower than the month to date average of around 4.41 billion uh, so there's no fresh catalyst to push our market higher we need to average around 7 to 8 billion para convincing talaga yung mga rally right now uh, so foreigners were net buyers with inflows of around 80 million pesos uh, so among the index movers bloomberry no, was at the top up 5.95 percent to close at 11.40. No, so very good outlook on the gaming sector right now. Even Pagor is very bullish on their uh, revenue collections this 2024. And if you also check the integrated resorts uh, being built in Entertainment City, Clark, and Cebu, talagang sunod sunod. No? So this government is relying on uh, revenue collections on gaming. Uh, even online gaming so it looks like there will be some continuation play on this uh, sector that's the team eh? gaming uh, anyway uh, even th there will be some rev revisions sa stock trading transaction fees no we're looking at the I think the, the minimum commissions will uh, still be one fourth of one percent or point zero zero two five. It's just that yung twenty pesos, no? So biru mo if you trade eight thousand pesos, your commissions is twenty pesos. But uh, even if you trade like a thousand pesos, you will be still charged twenty pesos. I think they they really want to encourage small players, no? Uh, to trade the market. Anyway. Uh, Megawide also clarified that PITX has already served around 127 million passengers from the past four years and expect to reach 150 million uh, this year. FYI lang. No? So FDC also completed the payment of the company's 10-year fixed rate retail bond in the aggregate amount of around 8.8 .8 billion. No? Uh, what uh, we're monitoring right now is this airport series, no? So we all know, naman, uh, several companies uh, made a bid uh, for the rehabilitation ng Naia. So they're looking to disqualify is San Miguel Group. If you don't know, uh, Ramon Ang also submitted a proposal to rehabilitate Naia to privatize. Unfortunately, kasama sa clause na. Uh, anti-competition no? so na, uh, Ramon Ang is also building a airport an airport in Sangli or I mean in Bulacan no? so major conflict of interest and Ramon Ang is using several uh, shell companies para malusutan to and they're looking to disqualify him no? so let's monitor how uh, this would pan out no so Ramon Ang is one of the top uh, bidders to 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 privatize na iya no? the next group yung uh, uh, consortium the super consortium together with an airport uh, infrastructure company which recently was acquired by BlackRock no that was isa naman si ano uh, Macro Asia group no? Anyway, uh, GT Cups Toyota Motor has also used 25% of its allocated investment in the production of new Tamarau multipurpose vehicle, which is around 5.5 billion. No? 
So, PPC, uh, their full year comprehensive unaudited net income is also surged 31.58% year on year to around 2.2 billion due to improvement of LPG margins, especially in the Luzon area. Uh, anyway, uh, our passcode for today is gaming. No? So, gaming is a team. No? So, MSCI rebalancing announcement February second week. No? So let's see if there will be some uh, movements and index rebalance in this February. No? Uh, people are just now positioning for some dividend plays this first quarter. No? So the deadline for full year uh, 2023 is on April 15 and some companies will start uh, releasing their full year by around March. Eh? No? So let's monitor. No? So again, thank you very much for listening. Stay safe. Bye.